All right, here's this bag all sanded up now. That's real fun areas to get into. The other side's the same way. Back side. I'll tape this right along this top edge. Cover the inside. That gets an insert in anyway, but we won't get any paint in there. So you have it on the prep that's ready for a coat of primer now. There's just a few spots on it. These are in such good shape you could probably get by without priming them. I could probably uh, 320 or 400 this right now and seal and paint. But we're going to go ahead and prime them and then we'll block them out. We'll put a heavy coat of primer on them, light coat. We'll block them to make sure we got all the imperfections out and then be ready for paint. So bring it back as we make more progress on the other ones. So you can see now I'll sand it up. This is what we had. All right, we'll bring you back on these. Okay, back on the Harley bags. Right, last uh, clip I think I showed. The uh, left sides <clears throat> are all done. I'll sand it in. It's all the pieces and parts to them. Took the uh, liner bag on the right side, put all my parts and hardware in there that I took off. Here's the lid for the left side. I'll sand it in 320. Like I said on these parts on the left side pieces first that the paint and everything was in such good shape on these. There's no reason to strip it down. We'll use that as our <coughs> substrate, our first coat down. I said these bags are a molded, injected molded bag, plastic material. I hate to take the factory paint off of them. They've already applied any adhesion, adhesion uh, products that they may have to to make sure the paint sticks. This paint is definitely adhered well it's from the factory so there's no issues. I don't take that all the way off. But boy, this custom work. I think this is factory customized. But man, these stripes these paint lines are thick, 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 thick. All down through here, very, very thick. It takes a lot to sand those off. And I've got some 180 here on a flat uh, half this pad. I just scuffed this a little bit and this will really show you this heavy line. Kind of give you an idea how thick this line is. You see it right here? Very thick edge. So, this was the second color that was put on, the dark color. It's put on over top of the lighter red. So we're scuffing hard back on a dark color to blend and flatten that in to the first color that was put down. I'll hand block on these. So that's where we're at on them. I'll bring it back when we get this rest of this bag sanded in. Like I said, I scuff these in with 180 on these lines, and then I'll come back and I'll flat sand the entire box out with 320. So we'll bring it back when we've got these uh, in 320. All right, back on the Harley bags. I didn't bore you with the sanding on these. Uh, they were in pretty nice shape, like I said. These are ready to be wiped down here. They're sanded in 320. No real surprises on them. Like I said, I didn't waste the time showing you how I mounted them on some wood. This is all mounted down together, you can see. So they can't go anywhere. Same with the uh, main part of the bags here. A couple of two by fours. Screwed down to the plywood on the bottom. These are holes up here where the rubber grommets go through. So I've got a couple of screws through just to hold them in place. Makes them pretty good. They don't move too much. So that'll make them nice and easy to get through the spray. Um, we had these pieces ready. These are fillers. They go, I believe, like this, or 
and got them wrong here. I don't remember just how they. Anyway, these go between the bike fender and the bag. It's a filler panel. Uh, these are new parts. These are Harley parts. They're steel. They are uh, EDP coated. I check these with some lacquer thinner. Does not rub off. But you still have to stand the prep. They have to be primed, and here's why. You can see those right there, right there. Little blemishes. You don't want to just paint over them, so I'm going to prime these when I do the uh, rest of the fiberglass bags. Well, they're actually a plastic. And uh, we'll get some prime on these parts. I'll bring you back when we got that done. Mm -hmm.